Hey everyone, Nick Simmons here, Olympic runner and the CEO of the Energy Gum Company, Run Gum. And as you guys know, I'm training to break 11 seconds in the 100 meters. Now, last week, you saw me learn to use blocks the first time. If you didn't get a chance to see that, I will link it right here. Um, and fortunately, here at University of Oregon, I am so, so lucky to have a chance to work with coach Jimmy Radcliffe. Now, um, we had a kind of a crash course in blocks last week and I spent the last seven days practicing. Um, and fortunately, thanks to our new videographer at RunGum, we got some slow-mo, high-def footage to take into Jimmy's office and get some real proper critique of my form. Now, I know it's not great, it's a starting point, but I always say you've got to start somewhere and this is a chance for us to learn together. So let's go say hi to coach Radcliffe and see what he thinks. Pushing off the back pad, which is good. Sweeping the arm. Pop, pop, yeah. Yeah. Now, what we'd like to see is this foot come through a little lower. Lower than that, okay. Yeah. I stop. That's actually really good. I feel like I could be a little straighter you could be through straighter. that line. Yeah. You want your hips to be projected. Pull my better. hips forward a bit. So go back. Okay. Here's the other key to that, okay? And this is good that you did it right in front of the stall bars. Because see where the hip is? Yeah. Right there in your set position? Uh -huh. Now, at the very moment your arms start to move, mm -hmm. the hips should start going that direction. So as I'm starting to sweep, I'm bringing my hips forward? Yes, your, your hips should be the first uh, thing that move. Yeah. And not bad. That's not, not terrible. Bad. No, not, not bad at all. Okay. That's the, that's the real bright byproduct of a good start, is when you push into the blocks, your hips move. There's not a lot of wasted movement. But see now, go back. See, I got my foot. That first foot comes so high. Yep. So then the second foot comes comes even, even higher. higher. Yeah. And now I feel like I'm going up and down and now not you're out. Cycling exactly yeah. instead of getting pushed. And so then what happens? Go back to the side view. So that's good. And now let it, as soon as that foot lands, stop. So actually, we still want the foot to come back this way more. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to do that because it's cycled around. Because it's gone all the way up and down. It didn't drive through and then come back. It's actually at a good angle, but because it's still going that direction when you land, mm -hmm. that means this foot's going to be more an overstride situation. So it's just like you can't recover from it. It's a yeah, perpetuating so go ahead, keep thing. Keep another frame going. Go, 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 go. Yeah. We missed that part, but you can, yeah. It's, Might be able to see it in this go, one. Yeah, go here. So pop too high. Push that back. Now this one's too this high. This one. Look, when the foot is hitting the ground, it's actually going into the track. In the direction you, yeah. you want to go instead of helping push you away from the direction you've been. Make sense? See, yeah, this no. Is all, this is all good position. Yeah, once I get to that, I'm like up to speed and I'm kind of going back to my mechanics, but those first couple steps, it feels a little bit like I'm cycling. Correct. Okay. Okay. Let's try the other one. Okay. Not bad for a washed up 800 meter runner though, Not right? Not bad for a guy that hasn't been in the box a lot. What day did you do this? This was last week, maybe Friday. Okay. Yeah, I was going on Friday. See, we, we want... The, the, shins to be more even. In okay, so if I think if I change the block by moving that back, it'll help yeah, a ton. Help and then I and then maybe that'll help me get my back a little bit flatter yeah, too. Correct. How about center of gravity? Am I in my shoulders? So this is good because yeah. your shoulders are right over uh, the hands in the start line. Okay. Good sweep again. Yeah, I like yeah. that sweep. That foot comes through even better. So that was a little bit better, a little that lower. Was better. How low do you want it? Uh, as close to the track as you can get it? Close to the track, on, but you know, some people are into this toe drag. Yeah. You don't want the toe drag. Okay. So the byproduct of how well the foot comes through mm -hmm. is how well you finish pushing. If you don't finish pushing, you're going to cycle and, and have a less likelihood of not driving through than if you finish pushing. Okay. Because you got no choice. The foot's got to get back there. And it's a rebound effect. 
good. You're really doing better with the with the sweep and all that. Yeah, the cup has helped a lot. Yep. See there, there full extension, good yep. arm drive. That's good arm drive. Now push back. How long can you continue to push back and keep driving your hips forward? Okay. Because if you're not doing that very long, then it means you're you're coming up too soon and and not in drive phase very long. Just FYI. Yeah. Um, I shot about ten of these, and we picked the best ones. There's some really bad yeah, ones I could show that's you. Fine. At least you know what to rehearse now. Yeah, I think my arm swing's good. Mm -hmm. I think my positioning's good in the blocks. I think I definitely got to focus on a little bit better core, mm -hmm. uh, flat back. Right. Um, and then the next the next big improvement for me will be keeping that foot low and not cycling. Yep, and driving through. Yeah, so you can see the same. So the it's next, consistent parallel, yeah, just or not parallel, I guess. The I'd next say. time you do it with me, like I'll have those little tape marks. Yeah, that'll it's help. Kind of a, not for you to use while we're doing it, but when we look back at it, then you'll understand yeah. it better. Yeah. See, so that's a that's a is that that's good. You like that? Well, I kind of feel like I jumped out of the blocks, like a little it's, too it's a little too leapy. much and a little yeah. too high. Okay. Yeah. More like pop, pop, pop then. But that does mean that you're pushing off with both feet and yeah. coming out square. So that's good. That's coming out square. Okay. All right. So arm sweep's good. Mm -hmm. We'll change the blocks a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I'll focus on keeping my feet low. And Yeah. When are you going to do this again? Well, what I'd like to do is the 30 from blocks and then the 30 fly. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, not next week, but the week after that with you. Okay. That'd be fine. Or maybe next week. Are you around? I'm around. Let's shoot it next week. Appreciate it. You bet. Keep working on it. My first race is June 27th. All right, that was awesome. Another huge shout out to Coach Jimmy Rad. Uh, he is famous for making strong people stronger and fast people faster. And I always say I, I would never be the athlete that I am today without him. So again, thank you, Coach Rad. He has some great books on the subject of plyometrics and strength training. I will link those down in the description below. Um, and next Wednesday, I got a special treat. I know I'm training for the 100, but here in Eugene, Oregon, every year we have the Eugene Marathon. And this is an incredible event where the entire community comes together to run a 5K, a marathon, and a half marathon. Now, I'm not ready to try the marathon or the half this year uh, based on my training, but I am going to run the 5K. So Saturday morning, 8 30 a.m. here in Eugene, Oregon, I will be running a 5K. Come out and join me or just cheer us along. Um, I'm super, super excited for this event. I'm, I'm not going to really get after it given my training, but I will go out there and, and jog a 5K, and I'm looking forward to it. So I'll, I'll make sure I have another workout Wednesday that chronicles um, kind of what I do before my race, leading 24 hours leading into that event, and then the morning of. What I eat, how much I sleep, my pre-race preparations. So if you want to see that, do me a favor consider pressing that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next Wednesday.